WOKO has dominated the Burlington Plattsburgh radio ratings for over two decades. But what makes WOKO a great station is the commitment to the communities they serve. WOKO sponsors dozens of events each year in Vermont and New York. And for 11 years, they produce the largest radio concert of its kind. The WOKO Country Club Music Festival. Why are they so successful? Because WOKO's mission is to do what is right for its listeners, advertisers, families, and communities to make a positive difference in their lives. Here's the story. Things happen in your life, too, that uh, turn you to country. Uh, because it's so family oriented, the stories are family oriented. Yeah, there's beer drinking stories too, but uh, it's really about family. Five year old kids kind of like it, and 105 year old people like it, and gay, straight, skinny, fat, tall, educated, not so educated. And that's what that American country music draws, perhaps more than any other type of music, I think. So, oh boy, what a, what a fit. Yeah. Country music is so big, and uh, people. Uh, from all demographics listen to country music, but they, they are hard-working uh, people and uh, um, what's nice is if they're working, they may have a discretionary income too. So, but it's become really more rock-edged and some of the new bands and even the local guys like Jamie Lee uh, have always played with a rock flair. And so there are people who listen to Triple X and other stations in the market and listen to OKO. There are people who listen to VPR and listen to OKO. Nashville artist and Vermont native Jamie Lee Thurston is a big part of the station's history. There's a dry and rocky ground. Sweat soaked dirt on an old work shirt. I can see him now. Maybe back the original cassette. Well, that we found in the storage container. I listened to some of it. It's pretty good. No, I was pretty okay. frightened by it, actually. <laughs> you couldn't do any more for somebody, for an artist, uh, for a person, uh, than OKO and lots of other people there have done for me. I, I, I just think it happens with country people, they're proud of their radio station, and when you do so much for the community, they know that, so when you call to action to help something, they they just join in. I talked with Steve Pelkey, and Wild Bill, and CK Coin about trying to do a radio spot to raise money to buy a new van. They came up with an idea of doing a coin drop, a steep street drive out in front of City Hall here in Plattsburgh from 6 a.m. until noon as people drove by collecting money. WOKO staff said that they would also receive incoming phone pledges. Well, in six hours, we raised $22,000. I happen to think WOKO has a very special formula by which they understand the community, they understand the culture of their own organization, and they understand the importance of service to this community. Benita Bedard is my neighbor, actually. Their granddaughter was born with CF, and it's a twin. Uh, the other twin was okay. And uh, shortly after, she said, we need to do something, and can you help? Decided to name it with a country theme and call it the three-day stampede toward the cure for cystic fibrosis. In Kayla's lifetime, the three-day stampede toward the cure for cystic fibrosis has raised over $1.2 million for CF research. We're wishing everybody could come in and fill up their bags and bring in a lot of money. It's work from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock, and we're always having fun, we're always smiling, and honestly, at this point, finding a cure would be wonderful, but this is my favorite weekend of the week. And it's because of all the people and everyone really comes together and it's my vacation. WOKO is incredible. They've been wonderful to us. I don't think there is another group that does what WOKO does. And like I said, I think it's the, the people have a real heart there and they really, it, it means it's important to them. So it was an easy thing to say, we're doing this. I think that the combination of all the things that WOKO does for the veterans and for uh, the different community events just adds up to a really powerful kind of family feeling that happens uh, when they do something. The big station, WOKO. The big station, WOKO. The big station, WOKO. 98.5 Big Station.
Country music and auto racing go hand in hand. And that's why Airborne Racing relies on WOKO to put people in the stands every week, from start to finish. At one time, we were the third highest rated country station in the United States. But our signal goes from Lake Placid to Montreal, uh, well down to Rutland and over way past Barrie. Once we get people here for the first time, 80% of them are repeat customers. Paul Communications in particular came on with us, became involved with us the first year we did this, and I really attribute a lot of our success to being involved with them because they're such a good outfit. You can find me in the back of a jacked up tailgate, sitting there watching all these pretty things. If you're going to make money in your community, you better serve your community. And so every one of our people in one way, shape, or form is on a board or involved in some community event. It paid dividends because uh, people saw that we wanted to be involved in the community and we sponsored events uh, that we wanted to be involved in but then helped those people and then they got bigger and bigger and bigger and people would say to us, does OKO ever take a day off? Everywhere I go, it's OKO. I go, that's the marketing plan. WOKO is involved in Church Street Marketplace events all year. WOKO sponsors Market Fest, Halloween, the sidewalk sale, and the tree lighting every year on the Church Street Marketplace. WOKO and Hall Communications are our exclusive radio sponsors for our events here on the Church Street Marketplace. Long-term relationship with wonderful people. In the six years of the Big Change Roundup, WOKO has helped raise over $600,000 for the Vermont Children's Hospital. Kids are learning about what our hospital does, and when they collect the change, they realize they're helping other children. Well, if kids give back to kids, even when they're starting out their schooling, can you imagine what that sense of giving back means as they get older and understand this community? Not only the staff, but the personalities really have a good relationship with the listeners and with the community. They talk about things that, and about issues that people care about. I would say OKO is one of the top organizations that we work with uh, that shows up in results, uh, you know, shows uh, do very well when we uh, have them as a partner. Thank you, WOKO. You have made such a difference. I guess you could say you truly are first with kids, first with the community, first with our region. You're the best. Thank you so much. WOKO's philosophy has always been to be part of the fabric of the communities they serve. What sets them apart is that they deliver time after time.